Hi, I'm Scott Daniels. I pastor in California, and I'm excited that you're exploring membership. Some of you may be really new to the Church of the Nazarene. You found a great place to worship, and there are some terms that we use that are pretty basic, but still may be kind of confusing. Words like Wesleyan, or even just the name, the Church of the Nazarene. What do those mean, and where do they come from? Now, let me start with the word Wesleyan. The Church of the Nazarene is part of a larger theological tradition we call the Wesleyan tradition. It really began with a theologian by the name of John Wesley in the 1700s, who was a minister in England who was concerned that the church of his day was sort of dead spiritually. And so he began to have all sorts of revivals and the spirit began to change the hearts and lives of people. And many of the theological traditions have carried on that, that Wesleyan tradition of what we call heart holiness. And sometimes when I'm asked, well, what is really the heart of Wesleyanism? What is a Wesleyan by definition? I say this, that almost all Christians believe that God's grace is pardoning, that God's grace forgives us of our sins, that that is the primary thing that God's grace does. But Wesleyan traditions believe that God's grace not only forgives us, but that God's grace is transformational. That God doesn't just want to forgive us of our sins, but He wants to change us, transform us, shape our hearts so that we become the people that He created us to be. And Wesleyans then, therefore are pretty optimistic and hopeful that God's grace can change us from the inside out to be all that He created us to be. The Church of the Nazarene is part of the Wesleyan tradition. Now the Church of the Nazarene has an interesting history also. We started not far from here in Los Angeles with a man named Phineas F. Brzee. And Dr. Brzee was concerned that the church of his day had stopped really caring about the urban poor in the city of Los Angeles. In particular, those who he found were addicted to various things and were broken in all sorts of ways. And because of this optimism of grace that God could transform their lives, he began to work with them and see the grace of God do some radical things. And so a mission began and really a church began. Now I love where the Church of the Nazarene's name comes from. Brzee loved a text in the Gospel of John where we're told that Philip met Jesus. And when Philip meets Jesus, he immediately runs to find his friend Nathaniel. And he asks him, hey, you've got to come see Jesus. We're pretty sure he's the Messiah. And Nathaniel asks this question, well, where does he come from? And Philip says, oh, I, I think he comes from Nazareth. And here, I love Nathaniel's response. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Now, I've never been to Nazareth, but it was apparently a pretty dumpy town. And so the question is this, when Jesus is called a Nazarene, it's certainly referring to where he comes from, but Brazil loved that it also had this overtone that said, there is nothing good that can come from Nazareth. So that we are the church of the Nazarene because we are this church that's devoted to Jesus Christ. But Brazil loved this idea that we would also be the church for Nazarenes, for people who no one thought anything good could come from them. That that's where we would be oriented towards and those would be the people we would reach out to. And so I love that the Wesleyan tradition has this idea that God not only wants to forgive us, but change us. And that the Church of the Nazarene, we are a church that is devoted to people who some folk have given up on. We are just convinced that the grace of God can change anybody and change us and transform our hearts to be what God created us to be. And so I'm excited that you are exploring what it means to be part of not only the Wesleyan tradition, but part of the Church of the Nazarene. And God has given us a great history and a rich hope that He can change the lives of people. May the Lord bless you as you continue to explore membership.